All right, howdy everybody. Uh, I'm back. Uh, it's been it's been a really long fucking week for me, but I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm uh, I'm currently in grad school, so I uh, I've been doing finals uh, all week, and I am finally done. And now I am now I am, now I am out of I'm done with finals, and now I am uh, I'm getting ready to uh, finish things up over here. So. I'm fucking exhausted, <laughs> but uh, I'm 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 uh, I'm I've 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 made a lot of progress in the past week, so this is just I, I feel like I'm I I I hope you guys will forgive me <clears throat> for not uh for not getting into uh for for not for not streaming uh, yesterday, and if you choose not to forgive me uh that's your problem, <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, um, we're, we're back with Resident Evil uh, 4, and uh, one thing I did want to say before we get going here is just that I really appreciate that this game runs pretty well. Like, this game, it's, uh, I feel like a lot of games coming out recently have been having technical issues. Uh, I feel like I, I, I mentioned that a lot, I think. I feel like I mentioned that a lot, but uh, basically, uh, I, this game, this game hasn't really given me any trouble, which I appreciate. I'm coming. Because uh, technical issues are one of those things that are just like it's kind of hard to tell what the what the deal is, because it kind of it's like oh cool I shot both of them. Sometimes you end up with a situation where it's like because uh, like on um on PC. On PC, it's like uh, it's kind of debatable what the cause of whatever your technical issues is, because it's like, oh, I'm dropping a lot of frames here. Is it like, uh, what am I dealing with? Am I dealing with like, um, am, am I dealing with a situ? If I'm, am I dealing with a situation where like, uh, there's like, um, do I have a helmet on? That's rude. Kill you. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the rifle. Anywho, uh, like with, with PCs, it's like because because uh, every PC is different, right? Like every PC has different parts, and there could be like a billion different configurations. So I assume if you're like a game developer and you're you're mate you're you're designing a game and you're trying to test how it works with a PC, you have to. It's like a whole headache because it's like, well, do they have? Are they running the hottest equipment? Are they? Uh, is this running on like a 40 series, or is this uh, is this guy still operating a fucking dinosaur? Because he hasn't made any, he has, he doesn't have enough, uh, he doesn't have enough money to spend like a billion dollars on a new computer. Another guy around here. But like, if that's the case, like, uh, what if he's just, what if he's just running some dinosaur of a computer with like a, like a nine series or something, you know? Like I had a, I had like a 980 not too long ago, I think, and uh, that thing could still technically run a game like this, kind of maybe, but uh, it it definitely wouldn't be very happy about it. I don't know, but like I'm hearing, like I'm not gonna say any, I'm not gonna say any names because I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna spread too much. Uh, do people still use the term "throwing shade"? I don't know, um, but uh, the I, I, I don't want to I don't want to point too many fingers because uh, it's just kind of really common. So I think being like just generally saying video games nowadays <laughs> is is like like is good enough. But um, I feel like uh, I feel like this I feel like uh, it, a lot of them like you're hearing about stuff where they're not working so well on console, and if it doesn't work well on console, well, like what are, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, that's a box that's consistent. Like that's that, that should be like your control test. So it's no longer a case of like it, it feels like it's becoming less common where like oh your game doesn't run well like that that instead of it being like oh maybe your computer's running too many programs right now or maybe your computer's. Uh, just not very good, or maybe your computer's, like, maybe you should be investing more in, like, your hardware. Instead, it's like, oh, maybe you, uh... Is there anything of value here? I don't think so. Maybe your compute. Maybe you're... Maybe, maybe they... Maybe it... Maybe they just... Maybe they just rush the game out the gate, you know? <laughs> maybe it just isn't good. Maybe, maybe it's just a problem that'll get fixed eventually. Because, like, optimization, I feel, is a very... 
Like, I feel like that's valuable. Like, people should be able to expect that a game be optimized. Oh, there's a lot of you guys. Ouch. Hustle, I gotta say. <laughs> I guess that's, that's what happens when you have military training. Or, I assume these guys have military training. Maybe they just maybe they just grabbed a bunch of dudes from the village and just put like just put just put a bunch of equipment on them. And then went like, all right, go for it. <laughs> but yeah, just gotta assume that these guys were trained in some capacity before they uh, turned into uh, parasite people. Anyway, what I'm trying to say uh, in the end with like, this whole spiel about games and optimization is I used to feel bad about my computer not running like super well, like like super well on some games, and now I realize that it might not entirely be my fault. So that's really nice. <laughs> it's really it's really beautiful when uh, something that you thought was your fault turned out not to be. <laughs> Complete release from obligation. You have no faults. You never make mistakes. Everything's perfect. It's a beautiful feeling. That's fucking funny. Not bad, right? Oop. There are so many of you people. Jesus Christ. No, you don't. No, you don't. You stay. You stay on the ground there, Mister. Excuse me, sir. God damn! Another one. Jesus Christ, there is so much stuff in this trophy. Oh my god! <laughs> they just keep coming! <laughs> oh my god. I really wish you guys dropped more than just, like, the setas, because uh, I care less about money now than I do about bullets. Oh, Jesus. What is this? Gunpowder. Can I grab some gasoline? Can I, like, throw a can of gasoline at the zombies? That was a thing. There was a game. Fucking Uncharted, I remember. Uncharted had that thing where you could pick up, like, a tank of gas and then, like, huck it. Nathan Drake just uses his gigantic fucking biceps that he apparently has to just huck an entire tank of gasoline. And then you can... I remember the game would auto-aim you on it if you were playing on console. And then you could just fucking immediately blow a man up with it. I know everyone mentioned this when they were playing Uncharted, but it's kind of baffling how many people Nathan kills. <laughs> he, ki he kills a lot of people. <laughs> like, he just, he just, he'll, he'll just make a wise crack. Like, oh man, isn't this a little bit much? As he's just murdering men left and right with, like, no problem at all. <laughs> It's a bit crazy. It's a bit goofy. I can make three revolver bullets. Or I could make a shit ton of handgun ammo. I'm gonna make a shit ton of handgun ammo. Because I use the handgun, like, a lot. <laughs> Perhaps a bit unhinged, even. Yeah, it definitely changes the tone. It is like, he goes from, like, a, like, a white... Because Indiana Jones does kill people, but, like, a handful, so it's maybe not as bad. <laughs> Like I know, I know, I know. Like uh, I know, in both circumstances, it's dudes trying to kill them. One made. It... Uh... 
He's in uncharted territory. Truly. <laughs> truly, truly. <laughs> I did make a really dumb pun. I will take the ban. Thank you for this opportunity. You know, you had a nice run, Kurt. I appreciate, I appreciate your presence here. But uh, I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> it's the rules. It's the rules I made. The rules I made, and I'm gonna fucking stick with them. I'm the only one here allowed to make super lame bones. Come on. I think we're in the clear. Alright, I am not getting shot to shreds today. At least not right now. That, does that, like, cover our, our back or something? I don't know. What's this little area for? Is, is it nothing? Is this just, it's just a set dressing? Cool. All right. Okay. Man, I'm still, I'm still fucking tired. <laughs> It's, a, it's for looking over the murder bridge? Got it. There's a lot of murder bridges in this game. There's a lot of murder everything. Alright, Ashley's uh, on an altar over there, and this is a really long area. Well, it doesn't seem wide enough to have a boss fight, but it could be a fight. Francis! Oh, shit. Francis Drake? Nathan Drake? Isaac? Clark? <laughs> Video games? Is every third-person shooter coming together here? <laughs> I need to investigate the area properly. You, have come, my you see, child. maybe I could have... Maybe if I investigated a bit more, I would have seen this guy before I got uh, forced, forced stasis. <laughs> With as many as possible. A humble wish, don't you think? You see, we are all connected through the holy body. Oh, I just realized something. Uh, the the title screen for this game, uh, Resident Evil 4, like, uh, if you look at the, if you look at the letters, it's got a bunch of, like, black, like, crevices in the, in the letters. I think, I originally thought that was supposed to be tree branches, because the background of the title screen is just, like, a big dark forest, but I think it's actually supposed to be black veins, like the kind that Leon and Ashley have going on here. That makes a lot more sense. The time has come, Leon. I'm gonna attach the tentacle. I'm gonna attach the tentacle tag to you, to you, Leon. <laughs> Bullets. <laughs> come on, Ashley. We gotta go. I gotta get you to Barbados. <laughs> Might as well be thorough. Beats. Of course Leon ignores the sickness. When, when he's in the vicinity of gunfire, his his body goes into gameplay mode, and then he suddenly becomes unstoppable. Ashley. Totally fine? He's totally fine. Damn it. Oh no, I'm limping. Right crotch? Okay, this isn't the cell section good. Man, we're looking. We're looking great. <laughs> Level one. Laboratory B. Looks like it's this way. What's in labor? Oh right, Laboratory B. Is that like uh? Is that uh? Is that where Luis's lab is? Actually, is very lucky that there's nothing to loot here. Cause if I if I had if I saw some bullets around the corner or something, I would literally just drop her on the floor. <laughs> Just smack your head on a couple walls on the way there. Yeah, we'll get the parasite out that way. I'm, losing it. I'm going into the light. I'm gonna meet Jesus. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna go meet Worm Jesus. I love it. Just bash Ashley's forehead on the holy gates. Still you resist, child. It's 
stop. I refuse. I refuse to become marbled beef. Ah, excuse me, everybody. I gotta gotta get going. You uh oh, you don't exist. Okay, cool. That makes this a lot easier. Let's go. I don't want to accept the Lord today. Please come back later. Please come back during my uh, during my office hours. I'm open Monday to Friday, 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. Uh, close on Saturdays and, Saturdays and Sundays. Not willing to accept. Uh, not not willing to accept any holy revelations unless it's within those time frames. F. Luis is key. Damn it. He had a really cool lock. That's pretty good. Dude, I want... You know, I want a lock like that one day. Like, if I ever... If I ever own a house, if if a miracle occurs and I happen to own a house at some point in the future, I'll, uh... I want to have a pad... I want to have a padlock that's, like, ridiculously complex. Like, if a burglar, like, looks at it, they'll just be like, man, I don't even want to bother. I don't know what's in there. I don't know what's on this other side of this door. It's probably some crazy bullshit. No! Oh. Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. Ablative radiotherapy apparatus. Look at him. He's fucking goofing around. 40 tumblers and three pins. Per per <laughs> Perch! <laughs> Dude, that's amazing! I want a prop like that on my fucking computer. Purge? Yes, no. <laughs> Laser purge. I don't think this is what radiotherapy is. Oh my god, it's fucking disintegrating. <laughs> Success. Okay. <laughs> This is how you do chemo? Shit, I had no idea. I thought it took, like, way longer than this. <laughs> and she gets to keep all her hair. It's crazy. <laughs> the miracle of medical science. <laughs> Alright. Leon on the other hand is super dead. Yep. Ashley's just gonna have to pick up his gun. Ashley. I'm right here. <sighs> Ashley carried Leon. Ashley fucking lifted Leon with the fucking eight guns and twelve and like ten grenades he's got on him and the body armor and two knives. Yeah. And two forearm length yeah. knives just lifted him onto that table. What a fucking trooper. <laughs> it's a chair, not a table. Sorry, my brain. My brain just doesn't function. Map. Oh, yeah, sick a map. I think it says we can get out if we go this way. Yes, if we point. I think if we go to this area that's like circled and says escape through the tunnel over it, I think that's where we leave. So, I'll be out of a job. Aww. So all of this. After sixteen, I think we're about to finish the game. Ah oh, yes, Luis also kept the requisite three shock no two shotgun shells. Just in a wooden box by all the medical equipment. I love it. Escape. <laughs> Methods for eradicating Las Plagas. There are two ways to eradicate Las Plagas, antigen injection and surgery. If the parasite has not hatched yet, it can be treated by administering antigen directly into the body. Uh, once it has attached, however, there's not much that can be done besides slow its growth. With surgery, the plaga can be targeted and killed using a certain wavelength of radiation, but this is not without its risks. If the parasite has attached itself to the host's nervous system, the host will experience excruciating pain, and there is no effective anesthesia for this kind of procedure. Surgical remo removal carries considerable risks even before the parasite has fully developed. Once fully grown, however, it is too late. Mo removing the parasite would kill the host. But considering what will happen to them, death may be a mercy. Thanks to him. 
Europe Laboratory 6 Dream Team. Look at how excited these people are to work for this blatantly evil corporation. <laughs> and there's Luis in the middle, looking handsome and less armed. Oh yeah, woo! Laboratory 6, it's the Dream Team, everybody. so happy to develop them permanent arms. Yeah, we discovered a super parasite. Woo! Zombies. <laughs> Do not be fooled into thinking that Las Plagas are merely tools for creating powerful bioweapon bioweapons. <laughs> their true value lies in their ability to control. No matter how hostile the subject, a single injection can turn anyone into a faithful servant. Who needs spies when you can turn yesterday's enemy into today's ally? Controlling just one insider can bring an entire organization, an entire country, to its knees. Mass production of the superior species has made this possible. We have empowered Sadler. It is clear what he intends to do next. Can you imagine if Sadler had that much control? Six billion loyal servants at his sole command. There would be no opposition, no war. Maybe for the first time in human history, the world would know peace. But I know how Sadler and the others have oppressed the people of this island for generations. I know how he treats them. And that's no way to live. And because of that, I won't let it happen. I don't know, man. I don't think the people who are inflicted with Lost Blogs, they don't really seem to be having a great time. I'm surprised this thing even booted up. He's cut of he soldered a bunch of wires to the to the fucking to the fucking microchip. That's funny. The Amber. This sample, which I've come to call the Amber, was just sitting in the storeroom collecting dust. We used to have ample specimens for experimentation in the past, so it makes sense that this one was overlooked. Yeah, peace is not how I describe this palace. Yeah. We used to have ample specimens for experimentation. In fact, the only reason I bought I brought it back to my lab was because of its peculiar shape. After a basic analysis, I've changed my mind. The amber possesses a very unique quality. Although small and in a suspended state, it contains the same organ found in the dominant species, which we've only seen in Sadler himself. When fully developed, the amber may rival or perhaps even surpass Sadler's power. Unfortunately, the amber was confiscated by Sadler before I could make any further progress in my research. He may be on to me. I need to get my hands on that sample again and escape in order to continue my research elsewhere. It's the only way to counter Sadler. Of course, I don't think I can trust this outside group either, but I've already come this far. Hopefully I can sweet-talk my way out of this one, too. I'll have to, for the world's sake. Someone had a field day looting the Umbrella Labs. Oh, they took all the tape out. Oh. Okay, um... First of all, get some heals ready. I've got, I've got, I've got healing. Oh shit, do I have healing? Yeah, I've got full, I think I've got full maxed out health, so I shouldn't be, this shouldn't be too bad. If I get, if I get like a green herb, oh, we're, we're amazing. We're fantastic. Oh, I'm at a, oh, I don't have any treasures to fit this Alexandra right into. That's kind of funny. I think we're coming up to the end of the game. So, might... Yeah, I think we're coming up to the end of the game. I think this might be like... This is looking like it might be the end, or very close to it. But we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. Sorry. I might might finish the game today. We'll like see. Like I said, we're a team. Dream team. Yeah! <laughs> To kick it down? Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. You're getting good at, at climbing and kicking. Very important skills to have. Teamwork does make the dream work. Uh, never been better. Good. I've been de spidered. I feel amazing. Full ammo, that's what I like to see. The game has caught on to what I like, what I what I desire. Give the guy rifle ammo. He'll make it work. You think I like the, uh... You think I like the, uh... You think I, I might like the giant revolver? Or the pistol? Or, like, the, the drum shotgun? Or, like, the fucking the SMG? No. Give me... Give me the rifle that's 120 years old. <laughs> that's what I like to see. That's a treasure I missed. Where is it?
Velva Blue. Are we even going to see the traitor again? I hope so. He's probably got to say something really cryptic because he knows that the game's about to end. Look at this place. This is where that we were before. You think she's all right? Oh, he is fine. Oh, I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> she's not the type to roll over that easy. Sounds like you know her well. Sounds like you know her well, Leon. You uh, you aren't, you aren't, you aren't dating her, right? <laughs> that'd be even, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Easy. This another. Oh, you can just climb up here. Okay. Is this just the way across? Oh, there's treasure over at the end. Hang on, Ashley. Greed has taken my heart. Are there any bugs around here? I don't see them. You heard a clicking sound just now. I moved my I moved my mouse all the way to the right and hit a couple mugs I've got on my mouse pad. <laughs> Pink. Oh god, I can't look any further right than this. Oh no. <laughs> all right, M D L I V. That's like fifteen fifty four. I have no idea. Deep beneath the castle grounds, I have found my faith. Oh, behold, the divine home. Oh. I'm looking at way too many Roman numerals, and I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm done embarrassing myself. What is the D? Okay, I'm right, D is 500, and L is 50, IV is 4, so it is 1554. Adam Sadler's fucking ancient. <laughs> He's like 450 years old. Deep beneath the castle grounds, I found my faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Illuminato's pendant. Future. Alright. A pendant with a sinister shine for selling only. <laughs> It'd be so funny if it turned out that that pendant had like the last like super, super parasite in it and we just sell it to the trader and he's like, hey, 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 hey. thank you. Illuminato's final chapter. Praise be to the holy insects. We have been promised paradise on earth. Man, woman, or child. His love does not discriminate. Beast, fish, or bird. All creatures shall be equally blessed. Praise be to the holy insects. We are the humble servants of God. His wisdom will overcome any mountain. His omnipotence will cross any ocean. <laughs> the light of heaven dwells in all things. Let our bodies be the seed bed. Let's be the seed bed. Praise be to the holy insects. We are the flock, and the shepherd guides us. Our prayers will be sung all over the world. They will be heard by all. At last, we shall exceed the stars in the sky. Good luck with that one. You guys, I, I don't even think these guys know how to wipe their asses, <laughs> let alone outnumber the stars in the sky. <laughs> you know, most of the, like, I don't, sadly doesn't look like he's the most hygienic, and, like, most of the, I think they're called ganados, most of the ganados I've been running into look like they're barely functioning, brain-wise, so I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how well they're taking care of themselves. <laughs> You guys need to leave me alone. I'm starting to get paranoid about rocks. Now, do I have a fish? I do not. Gold ingot. Oh, that's a thicky. Holy shit. <laughs> Ooh, breaks over, I suppose. Break your stuff here, stranger. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Sell Luis's key. <laughs> A key entrusted to you by oh, Luis. You sold it for 2,500 pesetas. Do you have any unique dialogue? Well no. <laughs> Thank you. 
spoiled him. What can I do you for? Uh, we should probably fix our body armor. We're going to need it. The carrot deserves, mate. That's fix our good knife. Work, if I do say so myself. I don't really... I mean, the two guns I use the most are maxed Not out. I don't really could be care too much about upgrading the dead. other bits of the shotgun. I don't think it really needs it. Um... Upgrading the power and the reload speed of the SMG the might be nice. Little bit goes a long way. You see, got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Buy some resources. Stocking up while you can. Wise choice. I don't know. First aid spray. Better to be over prepared. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering what if am i right yeah i'm aware <laughs> i think th i think i think we're about to have a bit of a conclusive thing in the in the in a minute thank you stranger <laughs> uh all right some more rifle ammo yeah, let's make some more rifle ammo. That's my boss killer right there. So if whatever we're fighting has like a weak point, we'll be able to hit it. Neon, look! Is that Oh wow, they got her. I yeah. thought I thought she would just I thought she just despawned every time someone saw her. That's crazy. I see a red herb down there, which means we're definitely going to fight something down there. Yeah, and also some 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 tactically placed explosive cans. Looks like we got some people to fight. Me out. He thinks he's going to lure, lure me out. He's damn right. Let's get down there. Stay here. I won't be long. Okay. Go fight a rocket launcher or something, Ashley. <laughs> Honestly, I probably should have bought the rocket launcher. Oh well, <laughs> whatever. I think I've got enough going on. Holy shit! <laughs> Just did that, damn. Oh, these bugs? Oh yeah, yeah. Leon, come on. You've dealt with like a billion of these guys. Oh no, not cutscene bugs. Oh my god, please. I'm not into this. Spider-Man! Impossible. I've got the exclusive upgrade on this gun. And he's just right. shrugging the bullets off. She, yeah, she was totally fine. She was probably only hanging up there for like, like five minutes at most. He was just like, you see this, and the was like, yeah. What is it with these guys' and eyeballs, Jesus? Oh no! Oh god, I'm in the arena with all the stuff. I've already downed him. Who needs a rocket launcher? I've got I've got 20th century American firearms. <laughs> is he down again? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so funny if I just end him like this. There's gotta be multiple stages to this fight, right?
Oh, he does it twice. This is too funny. This is too funny. <laughs> this is incorrect. This is not appropriate. Oh. You stay still for a second. I don't know where he's going. Yeah, he's just having a good time over there. I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm dodging this shit by accident. <laughs> Oop, not that one. Oop, nailed it. <laughs> oh, I was still can't eat for shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is like stage two or something, right? No. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> How much does this man eat? This is like a lot of biomass. <laughs> oh. Um. Shoot that. Looked at suits, you saddler. A monster in and out. Still, I need to cut this date short. If not, it's you. Fucking wisecrack and Leon fighting a mass of tentacles and a fucking like alien embryo thing. Yeah! <laughs> it's got a red rock! <laughs> it's special. Alright, fucker. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that didn't make any fucking sense! <laughs> You can't just say that, Leon, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a holy body. Stabs you. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like Leon's just so fucking tired at this point that he's just saying things. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what Ada wanted the whole time. What the hell are you doing? I gotta get Nothing this to Umbrella. Personal, Leon. Luis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it. Trust me, I say things all the time that make no sense. I, I feel like with Leon, he's just saying shit because he's, like, tired. And, like, he isn't even thinking right anymore. He's like, ah, fuck it, no one's around to hear it anyway. Okay. Here. <laughs> I think we both know this. This is where we go our separate ways. Yeah, sorry, Ada. I have a deep fear of video game helicopters now. I if I board that thing, it's definitely exploding. <laughs> She's got an absurd outfit for super field work. She's completely spotless, too. That's, that's how you know she's a professional. 
She's got that little, she's got like a sweater and like leather boots. Neither of them are like scuffed or dirty or anything, even though she's been running around this muddy fucking 1940s oil rig island. 1940s is too early. 1960s, there we go. Professionals are always immaculate. Where is she going? Who knows? Yeah, I don't fucking know. We should probably leave. I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> I can't believe that was the final fucking boss. <laughs> Just like... Oh shit, we've got a timer. Okay, let's go. This would be really awkward if we fuck hey, this up. Yeah. Hang on, real sick. This, real quick, Ashley. I gotta write my memoir. Alright, cool. Now we can leave. Got a green herb over here. Big red number. I'm scared. Now we can go home. Maybe. We're not out of here yet. Might get blown to smithereens. I don't know. I tend to be pretty slow. I'm not much of a runner. F to jump. Yeah, okay, there we go. Excuse me, mister? Fuck you. We'll just casually walk by while everyone's having a collective seizure. All right. Not bad either. The fucking teddy bear's key. <laughs> you like drill rides? You're gonna love this. Is this gameplay? This is gameplay. Yeah! <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear the music. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this game's tone is so fucking funny. <laughs> Just fucking, I love how this game just immaculately slides from fucking, like, actually tense, like, survival horror to dumb action movie stuff just back and forth. Like, what is this? <laughs> Why is the island exploding? I don't understand. Did someone set a bomb? Maybe Ada did. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yes, very convenient. <laughs> that, I did not have enough momentum to get much that much hurt. <laughs> are the seconds running at half speed? They are! Wow! <laughs> maybe, the timer, maybe the timer runs down faster on higher difficulties. Well, there it is. That's the end of the game. I I way overprepared for Sadler apparently. All right. Man, these people have been up all night. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. All right, we're just gonna. Thank you for saving me. We're just gonna jet ski from Spain to America. Well, Perfect. I've put in a word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail? If you're interested. You don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. You don't want to be around me, Even Ashley. Could use Video game plots safety. happen around me. It'll be dangerous. Come on. Let's go home. Condor 
Roostacondor one, do you read me? Oh, hey, honey. Yes. <laughs> I, I forgot you existed. Straight into the Where ocean. Are you? Right, on. right into the Mediterranean Sea. Alright, that was Resident Evil 4. You know, perfect. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, that was, that was Resident Evil 4. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. That was a fun game. And I, I, I'm glad I finally got a chance to play it in some form, because, like, I, I keep hearing from people who have been playing games longer than I have about how good the original Resident Evil 4 was, and that makes, uh, that's, that's really... I'm really glad I got the opportunity to play this, and I'm really glad that the remake turned out to be good, because there's nothing... It's kind of sad when you get, like, a chance to, like, have, like, a modernized version of, a, of an older game, and it turns out to kind of suck. But no, this was fantastic. I'm glad we, uh, I'm glad we, I'm glad we got through that with relative, like, like a, like a, like an acceptable amount of difficulty. And I also like that we kind of, we kind of broke Sadler in half. <laughs> I didn't even need any health items, it's kind of funny. But yeah, no, very, very good game. I appreciate that. I look forward to the the Resident Evil guys have been like, it's been like back to back successes, I think, from them. Except for like Resident Evil 3, I think. It was a wonderful experience to watch Sadler explode, yeah. Yeah, apparently eyeballs were weak too. Uh, I had more trouble with Salazar than I did with Sadler, I think. Like that I had that one like that one boss was the one that killed me. But like Sadler Sadler was no trouble. He had those giant eyeballs and I had a I had a big rifle that does like a billion damage. So I I guess that's all it takes. God, could you imagine? It's like, oh yeah, you know that like revolutionary uh, project those guys were working on that was gonna take over the entire world with like super parasite mind control? How, how did that turn out? Oh, the guy died. Oh, the guy died. Yeah, every all of them died. The whole project's on fire. All of them died. Yeah, he he got shot by a guy with a gun. <laughs> it's like, oh, I okay. <laughs> me through i think this is like a hint that uh i think there was a dlc for the original the resident evil 4 that had you playing as uh Excellent. ada that wesker just one question what are you planning to do with this we do not pay you to ask i think questions. that is a, i think that is wesker all you need to know is a really is strong gun made by traveling salesmen a hundred will give their lives so that just one may live i I'm expediting that change. So, we're talking millions of casualties. Ada. Billions. Having a conscience? Impossible. How ambitious. You're kidding. We're changing course now. I respect this helicopter pilot. <laughs> He doesn't even say anything. He's just like, eh. <laughs> All right. Cool. Bit of a stinger. Not the first time he's had a gun pulled on him and told to change course in his life. That's what happens when you work for a pharmaceutical company, I guess. But yeah, that was Resident Evil 4. I'm very glad we managed to finish it. Uh, It's only been about 50 minutes. I guess we could... I guess we could switch games. We didn't get to uh, Hard West yesterday, so maybe I could play that for a couple hours. I this sounds this sounds like it's uh, this sounds like it would get me in trouble, so we're gonna skip that cutscene real quick. Oh, fun fact: my last uh, my last Bioshock part is partially blocked apparently because of copyright. It's uh, not allowed to be seen in Russia, which is 
You know, a real shame. <laughs> Good work. I got a B. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll take it. <laughs> Fifty-four saves, one playthrough, fourteen hour, fourteen to fifteen hours. Okay. You know, I took my time. It was my first time playing the game. Whatever. Uh, B. I was kind of hoping for an A, but whatever. I'll take a B. That's more than passing. That is acceptable. That is the standard I hold myself to in academics and video games. New playthrough. Cool. Oh shit! It's a new. It's a new screen. How did the fuck? There's a fucking chicken on the main menu. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. Professional mode has been unlocked. Oh dear. Hang on. Let's take a let's take a look. Oh my god. Oh we got we gotta unlock the pinstripe. Change his cut co costume for Leon. Change costumes by the extra menus after purchase. I guess that's in the actual like in the game. Oh we can also unlock Leon with the jacket so we can have him in that full time. I've got I've got a lot of C. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of points. Apparel. Sure. I like the I like the scarf on Ashley. We'll go for that one too. I really want to unlock that suit of armor that you can get for her. I also want to I want to see if I can get this I I want to see if I can figure this game out good enough that like I can get the I can get like the extra stuff because apparently if you beat the game in professional mode in less than like five and a half hours or something, you can get a pair of cat ears for Leon. And not only does so not only does he get to be a cat boy, but also he has infinite ammo because cat boys are magic. So like I, I wanna see if I can get that at some point in my life. But yeah, no, that you know, that was Resident Evil 4. Fantastic game. We're gonna exit for right now. Yes, you can put cat ears on Leon. It's amazing. <laughs>